Here is the entrance to the Cavern of Knowledge. I hope that Vinbar has left a clue to where he went. Something I could track. Is it your wish to join him? He is my Manundanem. That means the one who shares my mind in your language. We must be reunited. I understand. But why protect the entrance to the cavern at the risk of your own life? The caverns of knowledge are truly sacred places. Only the Donegada have the right to enter. But you're not a Donegad. Is that right? I am not. But I must enter in spite of everything. And since you have helped me, you may enter as well. Even if I am not sure I can trust you. Because you avoided fighting these people. Remind yourself that this honor is immense and show respect. I implore you. Put your fears to rest. We have not come to defile this sacred place. How do we enter? Allow me. I have seen Vinbar make these movements so many times. The paint of this fresco is still fresh. It must have been painted recently. It's of a crowned man. Vinbar, no doubt. It looks as if he's walking through the skies towards the volcano. A face has been painted on the volcano. The spirit of the mountain. My heart did not betray me. Vinbar has readied himself to join Enon Milfrichtemen. Was that why you came in here? To confirm that supposition? To understand, yes. As the years passed, my Minundanem grew more and more distant to me. I thought at first it was due to his status and the invasion of the Renaikse. But now I see that he was hearing the call of Enon Milfrichtemen. He had no choice but to answer it. Oh, Vinbar, why did you not share this with me? These paintings are older. This looks like it represents a man who transforms himself into some kind of enormous bird. He is a Danegad, becoming a Nadaig Manaman. Vinba was also bound to the mountain. It is no doubt the path he has chosen to follow. If I understand correctly, the Danegad are metamorphed differently according to the place they are bound. Yes. The Sinolmenawi bind them to a specific place, and in return they become the Guardians. But how could a Guardian of the Plains resemble a Guardian of the Mountains? Do you believe that Vinbar is readying himself to undergo this transformation? I thought it was a very slow process. For some, it takes years. At least this is what is said. For others, it might take place the very moment where the Donegad surrenders to Enol Milfrichtemen. I hope only to have the time to bid him farewell. Given how well hidden this seed was, it must open an important passage. All we have to do is find out which. This mural is also ancient. It seems to show a doorway into the mountain. This door appears to be in front of a circle of stone. There are two altars and two seeds. The Donegada seal certain sacred places with root doors. Yes, I've run into similar barriers. It's all a matter of finding the right seed. But here, there are two that seem to be different. For one, the flower motifs seem to indicate which plant is required. This is possible. 
The caverns of knowledge are used to initiate and transmit the knowledge of the Danae Gada. This painting must teach the younger how to reach the sacred place where they will bind themselves. In that case, shouldn't there be an illustration of the second plant? The initiates also learn by listening to their masters. On this one, we see a sacred site with raised stones. And behind the face of the volcano, we also see the path that leads there. Like some sort of schematic. This must certainly be the path the young apprentices must walk. And the Done Gada that are prepared to surrender themselves to Enon Mil Frichtime. Do you recognize the place where the entrance can be found? I think so. It looks like the grotto that lies to the northwest of our village. With all that we've learned from studying these paintings, we should be able to find Vinbar. I just hope there's still enough of him left to answer us. And that Constantine is with him. And that he is still alive. Who is Constantine? I thought you were looking for Vinbar. I seek them both. I had hoped that Vinbar would help me enter the sanctuary of Dorhad Genedu. But I learned from the Tierna Hach Kadaktus that he took my cousin. The Tierna told you this? And so you seek to avenge him? No. Only to save my cousin and try to understand why. None of what you say makes sense. Why would Vinbar take your cousin? I... I don't understand. I... My head spins. I need to breathe fresh air. I shall await you outside. Please, go ahead. We will join you soon. Am I the only one to think this woman's departure is suspicious? I shouldn't have told her about Constantine. She must have thought we wanted to kill her husband. This door is locked. Sarah has put us in a very tricky situation. We should have noticed that she did not trust us. Well, let's search. There must be another exit to this cave. Sarah earlier. Let's hurry and find this passage to the northern mountain before she decides to come and fight us directly.
This is the place which was depicted on the mural in the Cave of Knowledge. Vimbar must have hidden the passage to the sanctuary.
Finally, we've made it to high ground. Now, let's find this trail to the sanctuary. It can't be far from here. Bloodied feathers. I wouldn't like to meet the bird they belong to. Looks like Vinbar must have begun his transformation. He will soon become a guardian of the mountains. If we want to have any chance of saving Constantine, we must hurry. More of these giant feathers. We're on the right trail. You should not have come all this way, Renaixe. I will not let you near Vimbar. Sarah, we must see him. We don't have a choice. We saved you. Why have you locked us in the cavern? And why do you now stop us from passing? In spite of your friendship with these monsters, you helped me. I thought that I had to help you in return. But I learned looking at the paintings that this was madness. Vinbar has heard the calling and answered. Even if it breaks my heart, he has done what is right. He maintains the balance. No one must stop him. I am his Minundanem. It is now my duty to defend the path he treads. His path led him to kill Katasach, and now he holds my cousin captive. I'm sorry, Sarah, but no one will keep us from passing. Eight more! To my help! And death to the others! Over there, more feathers. found the entrance to the sanctuary. Vinbar must be here, with Constantine, if he's still alive. We need to find a way to get inside quickly. This must be the entrance to Vinbar's sanctuary. But it's obstructed. He knows how to protect his home. A stone altar. It resembles the one that protects the passage to Mev's sanctuary. This must be where I need to place the seed. And here is another altar. Are two seeds necessary to open the passage? The seed that Sarah was carrying should work. Let's hope so. We're not gonna stay stuck here forever, not while Constantine is still in danger. Now that we have both seeds, the ritual should work.
King Binbar. Why? Constantine didn't do anything. He has never sought to wrong your people in any way. Like a worm, he burrows. You are so naive. You cannot see with my eyes. In all Milfrichtimin saw the wound. From atop the volcano, he warned me of the danger. Fed by bitterness, driven by desire, taking without giving, he will be the end of us all. You have gone completely mad. Take it. You are too blind, too renaixe to understand. Leave him! Let's go see him, quick. Constantine! Wake up, please! I beg you! Hang on. We're bringing you home to get you Three days have passed since we returned. I need to go to the palace to see if Constantine has finally awoken.
You should get some rest. You're not being reasonable. To hell with reason. I've rested long, and I'm well enough. You've just barely woken from a stupor that had you on death's doorstep. The affairs of state can certainly wait another day. Let <sighs> Thank you, my lady, but I am amazingly well. You can take leave of me with no fear, I assure you. He just escaped a deathly sleep, and here he is ready to conquer the world. Your cousin is exasperating. <sighs> what now? Are you going to scold me as well? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just relieved to see you're still alive. I'm quite relieved myself, actually. Thank you, cousin. Without you, I would be dead thrice, wouldn't I? Or is it the fourth time? If we start counting the time you stop me from climbing the ramparts of Serene, we'd be up to five times now. It's unbelievable. You feel no pain whatsoever. And your complexion. <sighs> I haven't even taken a look at myself. Is the improvement visible? I wouldn't go that far. How is it that... What happened? Don't make that face. It's merely a major miracle. Come on now. I'm gonna tell you everything. We have been waiting for your return. I knew you would do everything in your power. I have always trusted you, but Katasak feared that I would not hold on long enough. He spoke to me about a ritual that would help me. I was excited about it, and in spite of all that has happened, I don't regret following him. We went to the ancient site, a place full of magic. I followed his instructions, and all of a sudden, what an incredible sensation. I felt better than I have ever felt, cousin. Alas, we had very little time to celebrate. Cries came to our ears, and beasts jumped all over us. We fled for a while, as other soldiers fought through, creating a path to join us. But I can see from your face that you know this already. Indeed. Once on the ritual site, I followed your tracks and deduced what had happened. It seems that Vinbar was targeting you specifically. Did he say anything to you? I was still very weak, and most of the time he whispered in his own language. It seemed that he was speaking to someone and following his orders. But there was no one other than us, cousin. The crazy madman must have been hearing voices. Do you have any idea why he didn't kill you like the others? No. No, not really. It seemed like he was trying to tell me something, though. He spoke about isolating me from the world, that I couldn't return to the Earth. It made absolutely no sense. But aren't you happy that he let me live? Don't speak foolishly, of course. I just want to understand. Tell me more about this ritual. What did it consist of? It is, I think, a ritual that the Done Garda practice to bind themselves to the island. Done Garda? Katasak taught you their language? Just a few words. He wanted me to learn, to understand, but we had so little time. So he visited this infamous site, where he prepared for me a sort of potion. What ceremony? I had to cut my hand in front of an enormous stone. And there, a gigantic beast came and started circling around me. It was incredible. I truly felt a bond with that place. Like a wave came through me, as if the power of the island was running through my veins. It was marvelous. And now I am Onwal Manawi, like you. Even if the Malachor left me a few of its marks. But you had to encounter the god of the island, didn't you? How was Enon Mil Flictiman? Yes, I passed a trial for that. But the only one who could guide me to the sanctuary is dead. Oh no. Do not tell me. And yes, only the High King can open the sanctuary according to Glendan. I have no choice but to return to see him. I'm certain they are going to name a successor. Constantine. My dear cousin, I'm always happy to see you. What news do you bring? 
I'm take. Good day, Glendan. Beort Tirtomat, currents of Katasach. We learned of his death. And they washed Tire. Alas, his was not the only tragic loss. Your high king, Vinbar, is also dead. He was taken by folly. He went away into his mountains after killing Katasach and capturing my cousin. Nothing I could say would allow him to see reason. Are you telling me that you were the one who killed him? Kerton Sedak? What happened? How could a friend of Katasach do such a horrible thing? I'm sorry, but your High King did not leave me any choice. He was at the point of killing my cousin and then he attacked me. He was becoming a guardian, a Nardaik. Perhaps it was for that reason that he lost possession of his wits. I believe you when you have sufficiently proven your friendship. But something escapes me. Why? Why would Vinbar have done such a thing? His offering to Tiafradi does not justify what he did. You know that I wish to see Enon Mil Frichtemann, and he was the only one with the power to allow me to do so. I would not have caused his death voluntarily. Believe me, I'm just as sorry as you. Undivorced, Tire. We will celebrate his memory as well as those of all the members of our council that have fallen. Bladnit, Katasak, and now our High King. These are dark times, but in spite of our mourning, we must elect a new High King. The children of Tiafradi cannot remain without a guide. All the more so in these troubled times. I will notify the Mal of all the clans so that they may know to travel here. Who has a chance of being elected, in your opinion? Deirdre is powerful, and many clans would follow her. The wisdom of Nunkas will also attract support from many. And there is also Ulan, a clever fox who is very capable of convincing the entire world with his honey-dripping words. Dedra, Dunkas, and Ulan. I must convince them to help me if they are elected. I suppose. I must begin the preparations. You must leave now. Who will win the vote in your opinion? I don't know. Each of the three chiefs that I spoke of could win. It is possible that some amazing feat places one of the Mal above the others. If Blagnid had been victorious, she would certainly have won this time. But that was not to be. Is there anyone else among those presenting themselves? Do not take me for someone born last summer. You want to influence the vote for your own gain, but you shall fail this time. And you must go before the one we have chosen. Can I do anything else for you? What can you tell me about the sanctuary? It is the most sacred place of the island. The hidden face, and still seen by all of you, in all meal Frichtemen. I protected these doors like my father before me and his father before him. And still, none of us have ever entered. Am I to gather that there has never been a High King in your family? We are heads of the Council of Kings. And so it is prohibited for us to present ourselves. We must remain impartial. I see. And so you cannot speak to me about what you find inside? The heart of the island beats near here, the volcano. And I know that it is a place full of life. What can you tell me about your god? That the word god is too small to hold him. He is Tiafradi in all and everything. The wisdom of his people, the gentleness of his rivers, the strength of his volcano. 
You are looking for wisdom to heal the Renaixe, but you still see it with the eyes of a sort of Donegat. He is much more than that. He is the essence of all life, of all magic, the spring. Can you tell me anything more about the role of the Council? We gather here at every long night, and every short night. During these nights, the clans are in disagreement and come here looking for wisdom of the Council, and of course also the High King. Those who have complaints against their mal may also be heard here and find justice. And when important events take place, if the balance is threatened, then we also meet here so that the wisdom of all might be shared, and that we might act as the same people. I must leave. Goodbye. Qua awelem seg. What brings you here on Omanawi? I am the bearer of bad news. Vinbar, your high king, is dead. Ande Voshtire. He was a great king, and a very wise Donegad. We haven't seen him in a long time, but his memory shall be honored. Glendan told me that you would probably be among those who would want to take his place. I am not looking for power. But Tiafradi needs peace and balance. And I fear the other kings may want war, or be motivated by ambition. The Renaise brought chaos with them, and our island has suffered. We cannot change the past. And chasing away those who came does not make sense. The wound is there. Refusing to acknowledge it is pointless. But wounds can be healed, and my clan knows how to do this. So if you're worried about my intentions, if I were to become Hoi King, I'll lay them out for you. We must find balance with those from the remote island, and live together in harmony. But for this, we must teach the Renaixe humility, and to respect the Earth. I would like to meet Enon Miel Frichtemann in order to find an antidote for the disease that is destroying my people. If you were elected, would you help me in this endeavor? You are a Karantz of our clan, and I have witnessed your wisdom and benevolence. I would be glad to help you meet Anon Mil Frichtemann, and I pray that he will help your people. But you should know that my election is far from certain. The spirits are divided, and some are thirsty for revenge. Would there be a way to make sure that you get picked? I do not like the idea of using such a method. But yes, there is a way. The High Kings of old wore a legendary crown, said to be a gift from Enon Mil Frichtemann. The one who became the first guardian is believed to have taken it with him in death. If someone were to wear it in these troubled times, they would definitely be chosen by the others. And where can I hope to find it? In the burial mound of the Hoi Kings near the village of Vignamri. But it is said that the path towards it is strewn with spears, and that its entrance, situated near a large dead tree, is guarded by a Nardaig Magamen. It is a deeply holy place, and a guardian will not let anyone enter without a fight. If you do decide to go there, fill your heart with humility and respect, for those who rest there were great men. Now we have earned the trust of one of the pretenders. We just need to find that crown. Are you certain that you've chosen the right ally? If not, we can go and find another. What's a little menial work when compared to the fate of this whole island? You're right. It's a decision that's more important than our quest for an antidote. I must dwell on it.
Is it you who helped my warriors discover what the men of the Red Sun were doing? Indeed. Then I thank you. It's probably because you are an Onol Menawi that you are different from the other Renaikse. What do you seek? I am the bearer of bad news. Your High King Vinbar is dead. Dead? And the first Tire. He was a good king in times of peace, but he was plunged into doubt by your arrival. He was no longer at his people's side. Glendan told me that you would be one of those keen to replace him. That's true. If Bladnid was still here, I would have given her my votes and followed her into battle. But since she's no longer with us, I must obtain the title and do what should have been done a long time ago. Drive away the Renaikse and take back our island they want to enslave. Will you drive us away too? We will drive away the Renaikse. You are Onol Minawi. You will have to pick a side. I see. If you were to be elected, I would need your help to allow me to meet Enon Miel Frichtemann. Only he can help us cure the Malachor. Why should you be preoccupied with a disease striking those we want to drive away? I have my own reasons. But you should know this is the best way for the Renaigse to leave the island of their own accord. If you were to prove your loyalty, then it's possible in exchange I would help you. What do you want from me? For you to help us in our assault against the secret camp of the Soul Lasser. The one in which they are torturing my people. What do you intend to do exactly? Attack and destroy this camp and those who live in it to set my people free. And how am I supposed to help you? My clan is powerful, but so are these Soul Lasser. I need more warriors. Eseld of the Gaius Rad is in my debt, but I'm afraid she might refuse to honor it after her clan was defeated. You know how to talk to people, and you are friends with her twin sister. I would like you to go and convince her to help me. I suppose I could try at least. That would be good. It would also be good if you could fight alongside us to set these prisoners free. Meet us near the camp with the forces you managed to assemble. Anything more? You must go talk to Iseld and convince her to fight alongside us. Because without her men, the battle will be tough. Anything more? I need... Well, First inform the Mother Cardinal. I don't think she'd appreciate the congregation getting involved without her even being informed about the situation. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I regret to inform you that your High King, Vinbar, is dead. And divorced, Tire. He was a great man, although he left us a long time ago. But why have you come to notify me of such sorrowful news? Glendan has informed me that you are most likely among those who will want to take his place. It is true, and I will perhaps be able to obtain it. I understand that you may be worried about my intentions, but rest assured, I seek only to bring peace to our lands. Peace brings life and prosperity by creating an alliance with the people of the continent. The lives of our people will be improved and happier. There is something I would like to ask of you, if you were to be named High King. I would be thankful if you could allow me to meet Henon Miel Frichtemann. Of course. If I become High King, I would be glad to help you. You are Karantz of Ignamri, after all. If you really want to make sure that I win, you will need to seek the crown of the High Kings. What is that? It may only be a legend, but it is said that High Kings used to wear 
a very ancient crown. The first guardian would have taken it to the grave. If someone were to wear it today, they would surely be chosen. And where is the first guardian's tomb located? Somewhere not far from here, since he fought his last battle nearby. The entrance to his burial mound is said to be guarded by Anadaig Magaman. The path that leads to it, marked by his spears, and its entrance by a large dead tree. But beware, Anadaig will not let you enter without a fight. Anything else? Nothing. I must go. Sioras friends, what brings you here? Hello, Asselt. What do you want? Deirdre requested that I ask for your clan's help. She intends to attack a camp of the Ordo Luminous to set free their prisoners. The Ordo Luminous? It's the name of the Inquisition. The Red Suns, if you prefer. Ah. <sighs> Sol Lasser. Oh, I see. What have they done this time? They're still trying to convert your people by force. Those who do not accept the Enlightened are taken to this camp where they are tortured and killed if they keep resisting. Deirdre needs more warriors for this attack. The Gaius Rad have been deeply weakened by our defeat against the Lions. Deirdre told me that you were in her debt. I am, but she's asking a lot more than what we owe. Our clan might not survive this battle. Do you remember why your mother wanted to fight against the Alliance? Was it because some strangers were abducting your people? You're right. And even though we lost this battle and it left us weakened and without a queen, she wouldn't want us to stay idle and await the death of our people. I will gather my warriors and talk to them. Did you want anything else? Thanks. Goodbye. Gaius Rad. Tedra and her Sengedin Anadas will fight against the Sol Lasser, who torture and kill our brothers. She's asking us to fight alongside her, to set our people free and stop these monsters. Shall we rise to her call? Our spears will rise in defense of our people. Then it is done. Let's raise our spears and leave for battle. You can leave with a peaceful mind. My warriors will fight alongside yours and theirs. We will meet near the camp of the Sol Lasser. There you are. And I see that you have brought the Gaius Rad with you. We could not let the Senged in Anadas take all the glory. I wouldn't expect anything less of you, Ezeld, daughter of Bladnid. Our objective is located beyond this cliff. The Inquisitors are not expecting us. We have the element of surprise. Let's make good use of it. We will be as discreet as a group of Docentats. They won't hear us coming. Let's find a vantage point to get a better overview of this fort. So... This is the place where my people are being tortured. 
I hope we're not arriving too late. Most of their troops seem to be outside. As if they sense we are coming. The prisoners are most likely inside. In some basement, perhaps. And it seems as if there are some in the right wing as well. In that case, the toughest fights will take place outside. That is where I want to be. We must strike quickly if we want to make good use of the element of surprise. Have you thought about how you'd want us to conduct this assault? We are behind the camp where there are fewer guards. Getting inside will prove less troublesome from this side. We will conduct two near simultaneous assaults. The first larger group will attack from the front to cause chaos in the enemy ranks. As for me, my companions and I will get inside the building from the back and sneak into the basement. We will set as many prisoners free as we can and use the opportunity to search the building. Once you have eliminated the troops in front of the building, focus on the right wing. Good. This way we'll attack them from two sides simultaneously. We will conduct the first assault and then we will go back to intercept the ones who run away. Excellent idea. Are you ready for the assault? When it comes to setting our brother free, we are always ready. In that case, conduct the assault as soon as you're in position. before the Inquisitors kill them all. Wait here for now. We're still fighting outside. May the Enlightened always keep you in his... Have you heard Father Aloysius sermon? A bit too hateful for my taste. He should know that moderation goes hand in hand with wisdom. Greetings. How are you? Thank you. 
of the Inquisitors. The forge is safe now. 